What is up guys? I hope you all had a great Christmas. In this video, we'll be giving our character some attacks and combos. But before we get into that, this video was supported by my Patreons. Welcome Armak G and welcome Nihi to the team. You guys subscribed and was bang on Christmas Day, so you really did make Christmas awesome. So thank you guys and thanks to all my Patreons for the support. I try to help all my subscribers, but if you would like access to some of the exclusive rewards seen on screen now, please check out my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, let's get into this video. So, before you can get started, you will need to have watched these videos. Not only will you have some new badass features for your character, but you will learn a huge amount. In my videos, I explain everything, but there's a few things I've already explained in my last few videos that I won't be re-explaining. So just really quickly watch them if you haven't. Next, you will need an attack animation. Or if you want a combo attack, you'll need two or three animations. Link in the description to download my project if you just want to use that. So first, we're going to turn our attack animation into a montage. So right click, create montage. Then we're going to give it an anim notifier after the attack swing is pretty much complete. So right click on the notifies, add notify, and call this attack combo. We'll call upon this anim notifier later. Next, we're going to duplicate this montage for our other attack animations. So right click, duplicate, then open it up and swap the animation over to our next animation. Make sure you bring in the new animation first, then delete the old one, otherwise the anim notify timing will change. Do this for all your attack animations. I've got three, so I made three. Now you should have a montage for each animation, all with the same anim notify. Now open up your character BP. If you're up to date, your blueprint should look like this, where our character can draw and sheath his weapon. So first I'm going to throw some nodes at you and then at the end explain everything. So don't worry if you're confused, it will all make sense in the end. So let's do it. First we're going to create a variable called ready to attack. After the delay for our draw weapon, we're going to set it to true. After the do once for our sheath weapon, we're going to set it to false. Bring in this variable with control and drag and then connect this up to a branch with B and click. Connect the true from weapon drawn into this. Now we're going to create another variable called attacking. Control drag this in and attach this up to a branch with B and click. Now alt drag it in and we're going to set it to true coming off the branches false. Now we're going to create a switch on int node. This node will fire off different directions depending on the int entered into it. Now add some outputs on this node. The number depends on how many animations you have. As I have three animations, I'll create three outputs. Then we're going to create another variable called attack counter, type integer. Control drag this in and plug it into the switch on int. Then alt drag this in to set it. Duplicate it for how many animations you have with control W. We're going to set it to go up in ones with your last animation going back to zero. Attach each of our switch to int outputs into these. Then create a play anim montage node for each line. Assign the appropriate attack montage for each line. So mine is attack A in the first line, attack B in the second line, and attack C in the third line. Now, create a custom event and call this attack combo. Then create a variable called save attack as a type bool. Alt drag this in to set it, and we're gonna set it to true coming off the attacking branch. Now, control drag it in and attach it to the branch coming off the attack combo. Alt drag it in again so we can set it to false coming off the branches true. Connect this up to our switch on int node. Now off the false, alt drag in our attack counter and set it to zero. Then alt drag in our attacking variable and set it to false. So what are all these nodes doing? First we're checking if our weapon is drawn. Then we're checking if the animation drawing the weapon is finished and we're ready to attack. Then we're checking if we're already attacking. If we aren't already attacking, we're gonna set attacking to true and play an animation depending on our attack counter. Then plus one to our attack counter afterwards. Now we fired off our first attack and set attacking to true. Our left click is only responsible for telling the program we want to continue our attack combo. It's then up to the animation notifies we created earlier to continue our combo. Although we haven't done this yet, 
we are about to set the animation notifiers to trigger our attack combo event. So if we click once, we fire off our first attack. Then if we click again, we set save attack to true. During this time, our animation is playing. When the animation notify triggers and triggers our attack combo event, if we've set our save attack to true, we will set it to false, then continue our attack combo. If we only left clicked once and didn't save an attack, we will reset our combo counter and turn attacking to false. Okay, cool. Don't worry if you still don't understand it fully, you'll get it by the end of the episode. But now that's out of the way, let's do our anim notifiers. So on our anim BP, in the event graph, pull off our third person character and create a attack combo custom event. Then create the notifier we made on our animations and plug these together. We now have a functioning attack combo blueprint, but you will notice a few issues. The first is that our rotations are off. If you look at the head and the arms, you can tell something's not right. The second is that when he walks and attacks, he looks like he's performing some kind of weird shuffle. So let's fix these things. As we're already in the event graph, let's finish up here. So create a variable and call this accelerating as a type bool. Pull off our caster character and bring in the character movement node. Pull off this and get current acceleration. Pull off this and bring in a vector length, which basically turns the acceleration into a float. Then pull off this and bring in a greater than node. Bring in our is accelerating variable with alt and drag and plug our bool into the set variable. Now, if our acceleration is greater than zero, we will set our acceleration to true. If it's not greater than zero, we will set it to false. Now, in our anim graph, disconnect the output pose and create a new cache. Call this still pose. Next, duplicate it all with control and W. Connect it up to a new cache called moving pose. For the bottom layered blend per bow node, we're gonna change the blend pose to spine underscore O1 and blend depth to four. So the top group of nodes will blend in our upper body and lower body animations at the pelvis, meaning both animations will be blended together normally. For the bottom group of nodes, they will blend our upper body and lower body animations at the spine. As the spine has no control over the leg bones in the bone hierarchy, the upper body will be blended in from the spine upwards. This means when our character starts moving, we can tell the program to run the moving cache where the attack animations have no control over the legs. Before we move on, let's quickly fix the rotation problem. Click on both layered blend nodes and check mesh space rotation. Unfortunately, I don't know the exact details as to why this fixes the issue, but if you're ever having blending rotation problems, try toggling this box. Now we've fixed the rotations, let's continue up with the attack movement issue. So now we've got two types of attacks, one moving and one still. All we need to do now is run one of them, depending on if we're accelerating or not. So bring in a blend poses by bool node, then control drag in our is accelerating variable, bring in our still pose and moving pose caches by right clicking and typing in their names, then plug in the moving pose into true for accelerating and plug the still pose into false for accelerating. And there it is. So let's have a quick recap. In our character BP, when we left clicked, we sent off an attack animation. If we left clicked again during the animation playtime, our save attack variable was set to true. This animation then plays, and when the notify time is right, the anim notifier fires. This anim notifier then triggers our attack combo in our character BP. If our save attack was set to true by left clicking, we continue our attack combo and keep repeating this. If our save attack is false, we reset our combo and attacking variable. To fix the issue of the attack animation ruining the moving animation, we created another cache where the attack animation had no control over the legs, just the spine upwards. We then ran this cache if our variable accelerating was true. To fix the rotation issue, in our layered blend node, we checked mesh space rotation. And that is everything guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and join my Discord to keep updated with new video releases. Peace.